Now that we've worked through the observation step in the inductive Bible study method, it's time to turn to interpretation. In this step, we ask the question, what does the text mean? At this stage, our job is to explore what the author is trying to communicate. And to do this, we need to consider the context. Logos Bible Software provides resources for accomplishing this task. The kinds of questions we ask at this stage include the following. What is a historical or cultural context in which it was written and received? What other scripture might be relevant to understanding this passage? How might other scriptural uses of a word inform our understanding of its use in this passage? What nuances might the author have intended in choosing one word over another related word? The first tool we'll use as we seek to interpret what the passage means is the Bible Word Study Guide. This guide provides detailed information about a specific word and its usage. It supports English words, as well as original language Greek, Hebrew, and Aramaic. In this video, you'll learn how to use this powerful guide to aid you in your study of God's Word. To open a Bible Word Study Guide, Choose a word in Luke 4, 16-30, that you'd like to study in more depth. Right-click your word in whatever Bible you're using. This opens the context menu. Click the lemma on the left side of the menu. It's the one with the fragmented ring icon next to it. Then click Bible Word Study on the right. This action creates a comprehensive report on the original language lemma underlying the English word you see in your Bible. The guide combs through articles in your lexicons and Bible dictionaries, surfaces references on how the term is used in the Old and New Testaments, and exposes key phrases containing the term you've selected. I chose the term liberty from verse 18 of the ESV. I'm curious to know if both instances where liberty appears are derived from the same Greek word. Since we've already turned on the corresponding word's visual filter, when we click the word liberty, Logos reveals that both of its appearances are translations of the same Greek word. Now, when I open the Bible Word Study Guide, I can focus on what this word means. Because we've chosen lemma, the Bible Word Study Guide that opens shows the Greek lemma first. This section features the dictionary definition of the selected word as it appears in your library's lexicons. With this key information appearing immediately at the top, we can see that the Bible Word Study Guide is the easiest way to look up a word in every lexicon you own. We see in this guide the word used in the Greek text of the New Testament that was translated in the ESV as liberty. Logos also displays a spark graph at the top right showing that this Greek term is used 17 times in the New Testament. I find it interesting the pocket lexicon to the Greek New Testament offers pardon and forgiveness as definitions for this Greek word, yet the ESV translates it as liberty. Next, we'll scroll down and look at the translation section. The ring displays the Greek word and its dictionary definitions in the center with the ESV's translations of that Greek word in blue and red forming the outside of the ring. When we click either of the translation options or the corresponding ring segments, the guide reveals each verse where that English word has been used to translate the Greek lemma. Again, I find it interesting that while our word appears 17 times in the New Testament, the ESV only translates it as liberty in Luke 4.18. Every other appearance of the word has been translated as forgiveness. When we expand the ring for forgiveness, we can click any of the linked verses to see it in context. Take some time now to explore other words and record your insights in your notebook.